woman who sued cop for forced baptism found dead. On April 13th, 42-year-old Sean, uh, Shondell Mary, Mary Riley, who had just begun the process of suing a police officer for allegedly forcing her to get baptized during a traffic stop, was recently found dead in her home. The cause of her death is still unknown. The police are waiting for the medical examiner's autopsy reports to determine if there was any foul play involved. In 2019, Riley filed a lawsuit against Daniel Wilkie, a deputy officer from Hamilton County, Tennessee. Riley accused Wilkie of baptizing her against her will in exchange for being let off with only a citation for marijuana possession, a controlled substance within the state. She was forced to drive to Saudi Lake while Wilkie called another deputy, Jacob Goforth, as a witness for the vaccine for the baptism and who recorded the incident on his phone. In 2019, Wilkie was involved in several lawsuits charged with 44 counts of assault, including RAPE and official oppression. Robin Flores, Riley's attorney, said his team plans to have Riley's children take her place as the plaintiff. He explained that they could use her recorded deposition to continue the lawsuit. He added, quote, a baptism by a police officer in the line of duty in exchange for leniency in a criminal case is beyond the pale. So let me get something out of the way first. Okay. I know the headline is about how this woman died. We have nothing reported so far to believe that this was anything malicious. We There's... There's like, there's nothing reported. They are still doing an autopsy. Like we, we can't make any speculations about like officer involvement in this lawsuit or anything. We have no idea why she died. Um, so I kind of want to set that part of the story aside because it's something that we just don't have enough information about to make any conclusions. And it would be irresponsible to make any conclusions about that. Um, what I want to dig into about this story is this issue of this forced baptism, which is absolutely insane. And I'm glad that this still, this lawsuit is going to proceed. Um, is this, is this people in the live chat, Seth in the live chat is saying that this forced baptism is not that uncommon in the American South. Is that the case? How does that even work? Like, is it what? mostly done by the police? Forced baptism? What are you saying to me? What was the know. comment? Oh, here. So, here. It's sadly not a bizarre if you spend time in American South. I don't know. How does that work? Like, As the how police, do you force I haven't heard of this before. I have, yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. I haven't heard of the police doing this before. Baptism. Hmm. So it, I don't know what it, it, maybe there are other instances of like people being personally forced into a baptism, maybe in their personal life. In terms of the situation with this officer, he basically coerced her into doing this baptism. And by the way, as What's, a Catholic, why? the idea of a random police officer baptizing someone is absurd to me. I'm like, you can't do that. Only a priest can do that because he's taking the, he's embodying Christ in this moment. You're telling me this random officer is supposed to do that? Hell no. So yeah, this is, as a Catholic, this is just crazy. And what made, was, him, what a, was this guy like really just Christian, really, really Christian? And I think that he's like saving this woman or did he have, other motivation so she also alleged that he touched her inappropriately during being handcuffed um wow. during the baptism so her story riley alleged in her lawsuit her over at her around nope. you got you go a little bit back you got robot you got go back you got robot okay Wilkie pulled her over at 9 p.m. on 20, uh, February 2019, and she admitted to having marijuana in her car, which is illegal in both medic medical and recreational uses in the state. Wilkie told her to get out of the car and searched her twice, and said that, and she said that he touched her crotch inappropriately. He also found a, um, like a, 
with a leftover of a uh, joint uh, on her. Wilkie told her that he would let a citation if she agreed to let him baptize her. She agreed and drove to um, a lake that was close by. Deputy call, well, Wilkie called Deputy Jacob Goforth to witness the baptism and record it on his phone. Riley's lawsuit said that Wilkie and Goforth used a, a excessive force, assault, and intimidation to violate both her constitutional rights and rights under state law. Um, and the district court judge ruled that the lawsuit could proceed, but that the other officer who filmed the whole thing was protected by qualified immunity. Why? They filmed their crime? Itself. They filmed the whole thing? They filmed the forced baptism, reportedly. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, okay, let's just read some comments here. Um, yeah, wait, there's one more thing. Um, so this is a statement from the uh, district court judge. The judge said that Goforth, now a former deputy, had failed to protect Riley and found his excuse that he didn't know that Riley was being forced because she drove herself to strain credibility. Quote, if anything, the truly bizarre nature of these facts should have put Goforth further on notice that the seizure was inappropriate. Uh -huh. By the way, is there anything we can do about you f freezing a lot? You're freezing a little bit too much. No? Is there anything right now? Do a bit? No. no. Okay. Uh, also, your phone is vibrating a bit. So, um, okay. So, PK was asking what happened in the baptism. We already addressed that. Um, what happens in baptism in general? Is that the question? No, in this, no, in this baptism, I mm -hmm. think. Um. Yeah, I, I want to move on to the next news unless you have um, anything else to highlight because I want to co highlight these comments after. Between uh, go for news. it. Okay. So I'm just going to, this news is over. D is just saying, good stream on secular jihadists about pocket. Oh, you D is saying, good stream on secular jihadists about pockets on politics, by the way. Check it out, guys. Yes, guys. Last uh, Yesterday I did um, a stream with Harry Sultan. Um, so go check it out as on secular jihadists. It was about Pakistan and Imran Khan. And I think it was, I've seen a lot of discussion about Imran Khan being removed, um, as prime minister in Pakistan. And I could guarantee you that my discussion with Harris, um, on this matter was the most, the best I've seen. Okay. Like every single other come, you know, news outlet or YouTube commentary on this does not even come remotely close to how um, how good this discussion was right so make sure you go and check it out just search for secular jihadist um, and the latest video right now is the emran khan one cool um pk saying by the way i disagree with you on pockets on politics yeah that's good that's fine that's fine hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.